Welcome back to chapter 14, exercise number one, where we're going to be implementing keyword matching to portal search. In this exercise, we'll extend the platform search with a keyword match similar functionality using an indexer post processor. The idea is to boost documents by certain criteria if a user's keyword matches the given condition. As an overview, we'll go ahead and create a library module project using the service template We'll extend the base indexer post processor. We'll set the component properties. Then we'll override the post processor search query method. Finally, we'll go ahead and deploy to Liferay and test it out. Heading over to Liferay Developer Studio, the first thing we want to do is right click into modules, select new, and then select Liferay module project. For this project name, we're going to name it indexer post processor. We'll go ahead and use that default location and make sure that our build type is Gradle and that our Liferay version is 7.2. For the project template name, we're going to use service. Once that's filled out, we can go ahead and select next. For the component class name, we'll call this boosting indexer post processor. And we'll put that in the package com dot liferay dot training dot search. The service name in this case is going to be com dot liferay dot portal dot kernel dot search dot indexer post processor. Once that's all finished, we can go ahead and select finish for the wizard. When we have our liferay module project generated for us, we want to extend the base indexer post processor. By default, our generated class declaration implements the indexer post processor interface. Implementing that is going to require a lot of boilerplate code in the class, so we'll go ahead and change the class declaration so that it extends the base indexer post processor. We'll go ahead and open that up so we can see it. So what we're going to do is actually change implements to extends and make this base indexer post processor. Go ahead and save that. Our next step is going to be setting the component properties. We have to configure the component properties with the property indexer.class.name, which is going to define what model types the processor should handle. We'll configure it to only apply to journal articles. Inside of this component annotation, we want to give it a property here inside of quotations, indexer.class.name equals com.liferay.journal.model.journal.article. Go ahead and save that. Next, we're going to override the post processor search query method. We've actually provided a snippet for you inside of the exercise of chapter 14. So we'll go into that folder and we'll open this up and we'll just copy that post processor search query method. We'll paste it in here. Make sure to import all of your missing imports. And for field, we'll select com liferay portal kernel search field. And for validator, we'll do the same for com liferay portal kernel util validator. That should remove our errors and take us to the end of the code customizations that we need to do. Let's go ahead and build it. So we can go to modules inside of build, and then we'll build that. And once that's built, we can go ahead and deploy it and test it. So here I'm going to go to where my code is at. So we'll show in system explorer up to the module folder inside of build. So here we're in modules, index or post processor, build libs, and we'll copy this jar and we'll go ahead and deploy that to our Liferay Tomcat bundle. We can hop over to the console and we'll see that it started. Now we need to test it. So we can go to localhost 8080 inside of our browser and we'll go ahead and sign in. And what we're going to do is create the first piece of web content with the following information. So we can go to the control panel under content and data. 
and then web content. Once that's up, we can select this new button, basic web content. For the content name, we'll call that official fox. And for the content, we'll put in the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. We can tag the content with the word specification. So tags under metadata, we'll call that specification. Select. We'll go ahead and publish that. Then we'll create a second piece of web content by doing the same thing, new basic web content. We'll call this one regular Fox. And inside of the content field, we'll type the quick brown Fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown Fox jumps over the lazy dog. We'll copy that. We'll just paste that in maybe two more times. That's four altogether. And we're not going to tag it this time. We'll just select publish. Now we can go to the portal homepage. So just localhost 8080 inside of the search bar. And we'll search for Fox. And we'll see that the regular Fox actually applies first because it has more instances of Fox inside of it. Now if we type Fox spec, the official Fox should appear first on the list because of our customization. So here we've demonstrated how to extend the querying functionality of the Liferay Search framework. In the same way, indexer post processors can be used to intercept content indexing, for example, to enrich the index document data. Using these techniques, you should be able to customize the search for any of the built-in Liferay entities. In addition, Developers should be able to use the same technique to extend the search functionality of custom applications as well.